Germany, Europe in general, was about 25 or 30 years ahead of us in so many ways, particularly in the energy field. 20% of Germany's power is solar, another 10% is wind, and more is about the same. They're ahead of us in that, in large part because of economics. They did not have the luxury of having the amount of cheaper oil that we did, cheap coal that we did. Uh, Germany, for the most part, has run out of coal out of the rural valley. They, they used it up. We still have about 400 years of coal left in this country at present consumption. And so the economics of the marketplace uh, do not encourage uh, either conservation or finding alternative ways of doing business of generating electricity or heat if there's no economic incentive. And that's the reason why Germany is ahead of us in those areas. I can tell you that uh, I agree with you on the whole solar issue. And I've just so I just share with Don Chan, a fellow working with me, my electric bill for February from Con I'm a Con Ed customer, I live in Bridgewood, Queens. My bill was sixteen dollars and forty cents. So you say, well, how can that be? Well, I put solar panels on my roof, and they do work, and I would encourage all of you uh, on a sidebar discussion with myself to take advantage of the program that my CERTA has to install them, because you're paying for this through the system's benefit charge. And those of you, I mean, all of you pay that as part of your Con Ed bill, and you helped me finance that on my own. Thank you. You do the same for yourselves, and you can significantly reduce your electric bill. The cost of energy in this country is going to continue to go up. There's, there's no way, there's no way to stop that. And that's in part because the two major new industrialized countries of the world, India, China, have an insatiable appetite for fuel. China is building one new power plant a week. A week. China uses more cement for its infrastructure in one year than all of the other countries on the face of the earth combined. That's massive. So we're now competing with China and India for oil, and even with we're actually exporting coal from West Virginia to China because they're willing to pay more for it than utility companies in this country. So with that kind of competition, there it is going to drive people to want to look at alternative sources of like solar. And it is competitive if you use the rebates that are in place by the federal, state, and city governments. In fact, I was talking on the phone with a fellow property owner individual today, and it's going to cost him, after he takes advantage of all the rebates, about $8,000 out of his pocket. It's a great deal to take advantage of. So solar is coming. Take advantage of the credits. If you want some more information on that, I'd be happy to talk to you on the side. Or if the senator wants to have a whole production, as I did with the Senator and Simovitz's uh, people in Manhattan Beach, we had a whole team just on solar. And it was very enlightening. And the final question that you raised is a very good one about running a line of state, why not having the same rates electricity downstate is upstate. Well, we had something like that before 1990. And then we were told in New York to deregulate. The utility companies in this state were told that we had to go into the open market, we had to sell our generators, and uh, we then had to buy on the open market. And that's what happened. We went to all the state, I guess it was the state, I don't know, the governor, 
whatever it was. If we were forced to deregulate it, it was a federal government. Yeah, there was a deregulation, and so we we have to be competitive. So, in fact, in Con Edison, every hour the rates change. And our, we have a whole group of, of people there that do nothing but estimate what the cost is going to be, and, and they, long term, they buy futures contracts to figure out where's the cheapest place to buy our generating electricity, and we have to buy it. We're, we're competing with, with other companies that want that same electricity. So, unfortunately, what you want is what we had. Believe me, I think we would have been happier to keep that. We were told we can't do it. The whole idea of deregulation was supposed to make this competitive. I question whether that really happens. Well, you're on that question. This, the, what does it cost? What's it, a quarter, a penny? What is it? The, uh, is that nuclear, three cents for hydro? Or is it reverse? And I think it's 18 cents a kilo. Uh, was it for, for, uh, for oil? Oil. oil. Okay. So it would behoove us, and of course we're not moving in that direction because nobody wants nuclear, correct? And we don't have enough, we're not working with hydro enough, correct? We don't have enough close enough. I, I think what, what's going to happen, that's yeah. why European nations are ahead of us because they are mostly nuclear, correct? Well, France is 99% nuclear. I mean, I have. They've got to, you know. Is that the, on the same issue? And let me tell you something else. European cities. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. What is the panel cost to, to, to install? Pardon? What solar. What is the panel cost to install? I think it, the question was, what is the solar panel to install? And if you can, okay. you said it's $8,000 is what it's going to cost it. So yeah. what is his return on his investment in the number of years? It would, it would, my, my, it's going to cost, in nine years, I'm going to get that money back. The, the not my cost, but the cost of the system was fifty-two thousand dollars. But that was not my cost because you have a federal tax rebate of thirty percent. You have a New York State tax credit rebate of twenty percent or five thousand dollars, whichever is less. It would be nice if you could get that cap eliminated. And then the city. It's all my service. Well, uh, guys, no, they pick up one third of the cost of the installation right up front. So you get one third off from them with the system's benefit charge. You get 30% off credit from the feds. You get 20% credit for $5,000, whichever is less from the state. And the city gives you a 30% credit on your real estate taxes spread over a period of three years. So, the fellow that I'm talking to today when he does his solar panels and, and files taxes at the end of this year for 2010, he's going to end up paying no income tax for this year. He's going to pay half of what he used to pay for one year on his state taxes, and he's not going to pay any real estate taxes two and a half years. And when you say $8,000, how many panels did to a normal one family home? Yeah. How many is that? One, how many panels? Twelve. Twelve panels. So that's what, that's the, installation, the, installation, the, installation yeah, the installation takes about three days. But, but initially, what does it cost you? $12,000, sir. $12,000. going to do your whole house. I had it done. I went down to Home Depot. So, they'll so, break so it down. What did you say? They'll, they'll, give you, they'll give you a breakdown on the whole thing. Go to Home Depot. They'll set up an appointment. A gentleman will come by and they'll do the whole thing. What are you saying? Well, after a point, the bill will, at a certain point, it will go backwards. Can I answer you? I have it here. You can see my bill. It was twelve, sixteen dollars and forty cents in February. Okay, I went ahead and bought all the new type of bulbs. Fluorescent. Yeah. And I get an average of fifty dollars a month. I have this two people. But I get about $50 a week, which isn't too bad. No. And I don't have to install a panel. You don't have to. I just wanted to do it because I wanted to, first of all, I believe in conservation, and I wanted to push the envelope to 